In this video, I will show you some of my character design process for a graphic novel called The Third Eye. This is more of a behind the scenes look at my process rather than a tutorial of any kind. I really like to see how other creatives work and I'm making it in that same spirit and I hope you will find it helpful in some way. This character's name is Sharky. And while he's not a main character in this story, I want to give him a little attention. The goal here is to serve the story the best way possible. Sharky is one of a group of friends who hang out and work on their motorcycles. They're all in their 20s. Uh, Sharky is kind of staring down the barrel of 30. He doesn't talk about it, but it bothers him. Uh, don't tell him I told you. He doesn't know I'm making this video. Uh, it's not a Hells Angels type of motorcycle gang. They don't claim turf or have matching jackets, but they do enjoy the thrill of riding. And the few times when they all ride together, it's really wonderful. And there's a sense of flying in formation that uh, they all respond to. James Sharkey is five foot six, blonde. He's a man of action and pretty well known for his temper. He sees himself as an American hero. When we first meet him, he is in conflict with our protagonist, whose name is Mars. Starting with the story description, if there is one, uh, I look for reference material and start sketching, and try not to let the bad drawings get me down. Here's some. The way I see it, they're just part of the process. Here we have the late actor Robert Conrad, or Jim West of the old TV show The Wild Wild West. He fits the stature and the attitude and he's a good source of reference. He was a boxer and then a stuntman. Conrad was well known as a hothead on and off the set. He was in a battery commercial back in the day where he puts the battery on his shoulder, looks right at the camera and says, I dare you to knock it off. I'll see if I can find the clip. I dare you to knock this off. He said in an interview after that, he regretted doing that because as a result of that commercial, everywhere he went, he was recognized and lots and lots of guys came up to him and wanted to take him up on that dare. So once Sharky's basic body shape is taking form and his costumes beginning to be worked out, uh, it's time to really focus on his face. His main facial characteristic is his forehead and straight nose structure, almost hawk-like, face first, aggressive, he gets another inch or two of height from his spiked up hair. And uh, since he's in at least one fight scene, I have to make sure to work out what the shape of that is from different angles. As his head and hair come into focus, it's time to consider expressions. And this is where psychology is relevant. Sharky has a fairly narrow range of emotion. He goes from annoyed to angry to raging. But he does have another side where he has a crush on the leading lady. Her name is Jessie, and he wants very much to impress her in the ways he thinks are impressive. Someone told him that male models narrow their eyes slightly to enhance their appeal, and so when he's trying to be charming, he does this version of the male model squint. In designing this character, uh, he is part of a group, so I sketch them together with other characters to try to keep them cohesive. The one exception to that is one character QT, uh, it's part of her personality to be very different for a specific story reason, so I think you can guess which one she is. And speaking of other characters, each club member has their own custom ride and helmet that reflects their personality and their economic status and their taste. Uh, I could do a whole other video on Sharky's motorcycle design, but here's the rough bike, which uh, he calls Damn Yankee, and that is a shark fin on the back. The shark fin might look a little silly, but if you laugh at it, you will experience Sharky's personality, which is to go to fisticuffs. He'll throw a haymaker. He'll give you the Jim West, Wild Wild West treatment. So be careful there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the process. I hope you like it. What, what can I say? It's drawing stuff. It's all good.